this is NFL Gaming. Uh, so, welcome back to this world. Uh, I did a quick little time lapse view of this little house that I built uh, a while ago in this uh, Conquest Reforged mod pack. One of my favorite mod packs, one of my favorite texture packs. Um, on a super cool map um, that was made by someone. I have the link in the description. Um, called the Black Forest, I believe, of all these cool trees and stuff like that. But if you look up here, I have been working um, tirelessly. Um, every day I log in for at least a couple hours and just kind of do another chunk of this uh, kingdom that I've been working on. So, uh, obviously, no, it's not finished. As you can see, uh, basically almost every single one of the buildings on the inside is just some wool circles right now. Um, it's all planned out, um, at least for now. There's a little hut, and then uh, there's what I've been working at. A little, little bit different. Kind of looks like a theme park at this point, but uh, yeah. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun working on this. I haven't even done really anything other than this kind of uh, smeltery area here, but I have a lot of copy pasted towers here. I have a wall going around. Uh, I am going to um, work on the wall, obviously right now it's only um, five wide. I think I'm going to keep the five wide width, um, but the obviously the design is, is um, could be improved. It's just uh, like um, some of this, it's called a light gray stone brick. Um, so that's one of the blocks from the mod pack here, and then just regular old cobblestone with a, with a slab going on top. I, I do kind of want to add a roof like this to all the walls, but that is going to take forever. Um, I'll probably do like a copy-paste thing, but even if I do a copy-paste thing, this wall is so uh, janky and not like flat that I would have to do it one, um, I would have to like copy just one width of this, uh, this roof at a time and paste it and rotate it all the way around, which would take a while, but I mean, I did pretty much hand place all these wall blocks anyway, because it's so, uh, the train varies so much. So anyway, um, you might be confused on what the colors mean. Let's just go over here to my little key. This is mostly to help me out, to be honest. Uh, so the white, easy enough, that is the streets. You can kind of tell that in between most of these, um, plans for buildings. I have streets. Also, the streets are kind of connecting to these big gates here. We have two big gates. Um, I'm really proud of these, these gate tower kind of things. Uh, they have the coolest uh, detail so far. Um, obviously, I don't have any roads leading out into like this area. I kind of want to have this be like the more farm rural area and then have this be more like the city. Um, anyway, um, this is for the most part how I kind of want the inside of this stuff to look more polished and a lot bigger. So we have these cool windows too. Um, the blue is utility. So basically, um, this smeltery area would have been blue. I already did the smeltery. Uh, this area right here is going to be the blacksmith next to the smeltery area. And this over here is going to be a windmill, um, for now at least. Um, houses. So the yellow is going to be kind of the more poor houses, a, lot, a little smaller um, than the pink, which is the nicer houses. So um, that kind of butts up to this purple here, and the purple, as you can see here, is going to be the castle. Um, so the castle will be here. Uh, I kind of just left a big area. Obviously, it's not going to be like the castle wall butts up right next to the nicer house. So it's going to be like somewhere in here will be the castle, and then kind of whatever's left over of this land will be like the yard of the castle. You know, and that'll kind of butt up to these nicer houses. And for all I know, um, nicer houses might you know creep into this purple area once I've. I, once I've done the castle. So the nicer houses are kind of butted up against the walls or against the castle there. Um, and then the yellow are kind of the poor houses. See how big this pink circle is compared to, you know, maybe five or six of these yellow circles. Circles, I'm saying. The shapes that have the house, the poorer houses in them. And then over here, the orange uh, is the shopping stalls. Um, oh, what the heck. Oh, I think I went under the, yeah. There we go. Okay, so the orange is going to be the shopping district. They have a little bit over here. But where the windmill is going to be, this right here is a crane, actually, so you could probably go underneath that. But these are all going to be um, divided even further into smaller shopping sections. So let's go check out um, one of the towers. So we have we have the the gate here, the main gate. One of them is closed, obviously one of them is open. Uh, we have this tower, which has been copy-pasted how many times? Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Uh, it is the same tower, same height, but... Uh, whatever. I like it. Um, so the inside, uh, pretty boring. We could do a lot with the inside. Um, yeah. Um, not too much, just uh, a nice looking tower, not flat, not just cobblestone. You know, I kind of put this white stone brick uh, ring around them. Uh, and then let's go check out uh, my favorite part so far. Let's just, let's, let's have a, like an actual reveal here. And you'll see these 
um, these kind of floating boxes. That's what this in my hand is, the invisible light block. So it actually is like a torch, but you can't see it. But sadly, when I don't have uh, my F1 pressed, um, you can see the squares, which, whatever. Um, I don't have to hide lighting creatively anymore. Uh, so this is the smelter area. Uh, we are kind of going for a fantasy feel here, so I do have a lot of, you know, uh, impractical things, I guess you could say. Uh, so to start off, we have a big crane here on some tracks. Uh, ooh, this actually changed somehow. There we go. Okay, uh, so we just have, you know, like a couple of levers that, oh, jeez, don't do anything. Uh, but I like, I like the look of this crane. Um, this is just a connected texture um, iron block, so the regular vanilla iron block. Uh, with some, some, some stairs and then some like sideways stairs, I guess you could call them. What are they actually called? Uh, corn block, okay. Uh, so those have a couple of little staircases up to them. Um, but that is holding, uh, this is one of my favorite parts of the whole thing. They have these barrels um, that hold apples or lapis or coal or diamonds or iron or emeralds or n gold nuggets. and just all kinds of different barrels, and so I kind of have them categorize here so we have the this purple gem no i have a light block over it uh this purple crystal which is actually actually acts like ice so it actually is kind of slippery and it is slightly transparent you can see underneath it uh kind of through it sometimes but i just kind of have like the four corners here so over on this side we have um some purple looking blocks and some iron and some coal these are actually radishes or turnips um but yeah whatever um it looks purple it could be amethyst or something then we have these really cool uh, barrels, which actually look huge when you drop them. It's actually kind of hilarious, but anyway um, So that's the purple one. We have the red one, which just has some some apples um, Which look like rubies and then coal and then gold and then blue we have some sapphires and some diamonds and some Just some more empty stuff and then the green we have uh, some emeralds and coal. Oh, this one actually filled up with water. I Didn't know that was possible. I didn't yeah, because it's an empty barrel, um, but it rains every once in a while, obviously, and uh, I get to fill it with water. I'm going to leave that. That looks cool. And this one is uh, clay. Whatever. Uh, it, it looks pretty cool. You can do the barrel sideways and stuff like that. And then I have just the, like, kind of the pallet area where the crane could drop down the supplies and it can be taken off. You move in here. Under each of these anvils is the corresponding color of the corner. And then each of the four kind of walkways down, we have um, some of the armor, you know, the, the basic vanilla armor, all four sets. Other than leather, we have the chain as the fourth one. Over some cool uh, stained glass and some lava, and then obviously the centerpiece here, we have this big um, kind of cauldron dropping down mechanism, uh, overhang over a pool of lava with these water, uh, lava fountains pouring in. I really like these chains here. Um, they are like, you can fly through them and then um, got empty collagen attached to them. It's just like they're dropping down into there. Also, these collagens are really 3D and I like how those look. So anyway, uh, that is this area pretty much summed up. Uh, I could do with a little of, uh, a little more detail, a little too much cobblestone for my liking. Obviously, these, these kind of seating areas, I don't know what you call them. Uh, I could do something with those. Uh, they're pretty boring and don't really serve a purpose, so maybe I could put uh, little stalls in here too, you know, um, kind of to go with the market area over here. Uh, one more thing I have done that's actually not uh, within the city limits is this over here. Uh, this is actually a church. Um, like you can see, this map is uh, not the biggest. Uh, it's not infinite. Obviously, it only this is literally the entire map I have flown around, and this is the whole map. Um, so this church is pretty much towards the edge of the world. Uh, also, this the whole that side of the wall is towards that side of the world. Um, so obviously, I'm never going to fill this whole thing up. Uh, I don't know, maybe I will if I work on this for multiple years, but um, I am kind of getting close here, uh, so you can see the edge of the world. But you just kind of suspend your belief here, your disbelief. Is that how you use it? I don't even know. Um, I have not finished polishing up the surrounding area, as you can see. Uh, when I when I moved it over here, it kind of looks kind of janky, um, connecting to the normal world. Um, but on the front, it looks pretty nice, and then on the sides, I tried to kind of smooth it out. Um, I do have world edit obviously in here, so that's what this uh, wooden axe is for in here. You just go s slash br smooth, and you can just kind of smooth it out. But anyway, uh, I can do that later off camera. So let's get a better view of the church. I'm kind of just rubbing my face into it. Excuse me. Uh, so it's not the biggest church. Um, it's not the most detailed church, but I think it's pretty cool for a first try at least. Uh, again, I use this uh, light gray stone brick. Um, used throughout the castle there. I really like how this looks. And then this is just, um, oh, it's actually a specific um, glass pane with uh, 
with kind of that pointed texture on it. I really like how this looks. So we're going to just walk inside. Obviously, I haven't done any of the interior yet, so um, this is what it looks on the inside. I left that spot open right there. I really like how this stuff looks from the inside, especially. Um, whole leg. Um, but yeah, I left this open just for a kind of skylight. My uh, The church that I actually went to when I was a kid um, had kind of, it wasn't, it was a perfect square. It was a, it was a perfectly square building, a uh, huge building. Like the sanctuary was the dead in the center of the square. And then there was like a, basically a hallway going around the whole outside of it. Um, but uh, in the very center of the sanctuary at the very top, like three stories up, um, there was this white square that was basically a skylight. It, you couldn't actually clearly see what was outside, but it was letting in natural daylight. And I, that's kind of reminiscent of this. So I, I wanted to include that. So this will be, um, I'll just, I'll put some, you know, some pews in here eventually and kind of put some carpet and stuff. But, uh, for now, this is, this is what it looks like. And I, I'm happy with the interior. Um, it is kind of just a shell right now, but, uh, we'll figure that out later. And then these towers actually, I don't think have access to them at the moment. Um, yeah, they don't. I'll have to add that somehow, like maybe put it, ooh, how will I do that? I was there. Yeah, I'll probably have to do something like that. Oh, man, I don't know. Probably, probably put something there and there and then put a door in like this. Yeah, something like that. We'll figure out that out eventually though. That doesn't really matter too much. Um, the interiors are definitely taking a backseat to the exteriors in this. Uh, and you'll see some like floating trees here. Um, basically, the way I get rid of trees is instead of just, you know, breaking them block by block, which would take an eternity, I'm gonna... Wow, this is bad. Oh, so I just did a quick refresh. Basically, if your role is ever doing that, something that helps is Alt, F3, and A. Reloads all the chunks, and you are pretty much good to go. But anyway, uh, these holes in these trees, basically the way I would cut down the trees, instead of punching them block by block, I would go to my diamond pickaxe, so just do slash, PR. Uh, sphere, air, and then like five. That'll change. It'll make uh, it a brush. So we right click and it'll do it. Boom. Uh, it does a sphere of air. So it just basically deletes it. Uh, if you ever undo, you just get that. So basically, the last few things uh, I have to say uh, is what do you guys think so far? Uh, what do you think of my ideas? Um, and then I guess uh, suggestions. Um, Obviously, I don't have to do exactly what I had planned out. A windmill might... Um, I'm actually probably not going to do a windmill in here. I was just thinking about that. Um, it'll fit and everything, but it won't really kind of go with what was with the city vibe. I'll probably do a windmill over by that farmhouse. So I'm actually going to change that idea. Let's just... Um, that's the blacksmith there. This is going to be the windmill. Yeah, we'll probably just do more like more... Excuse me, more stalls or something over here. But anyway, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um of like this and the towers and the walls and the gates and stuff like that and then uh yeah give me some suggestions so thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one bye, -bye.